Hey everyone, Linus here. Today we're diving deep into a critical issue plaguing the tech world CPU degradation. You spend your hard-earned cash on a shiny new processor, expecting top-notch performance for years to come. But what if I told you that your CPU could slowly be dying, losing its power and stability over time? That's CPU degradation in a nutshell. Imagine your CPU as an athlete. Constant stress and strain can wear it down, leading to a decline in performance. In a CPU, this degradation manifests as random system crashes, annoying freezes, and a noticeable slowdown in speed. These issues can be incredibly frustrating, especially when you're in the middle of an intense gaming session or trying to meet a crucial deadline. But what causes this degradation in the first place? One major culprit is heat. CPUs generate a lot of heat, especially when running demanding tasks. Over time, prolonged exposure to high temperatures can damage the delicate circuitry within the CPU, leading to performance degradation. Excessive voltage, another form of stress, can also contribute to the problem. Just like pushing an athlete too hard can lead to injury, pushing your CPU beyond its limits can shorten its lifespan. Regular maintenance like cleaning dust from your computer and applying fresh thermal paste can help mitigate some of these issues. Additionally, tweaking your system settings to ensure optimal performance without overloading the CPU can make a significant difference. Using cooling solutions like cooling pads or better airflow in your setup can also help keep temperatures in check. By taking these steps, you can extend the life of your CPU and maintain its performance for a longer period. So, while CPU degradation is a real issue, with proper care and attention, you can keep your processor running smoothly for years to come. Now let's talk about Intel. Specifically, their 13th and 14th generation core desktop processors, codenamed Raptor Lake. These chips, particularly the core Y5, i7, and i9 models, have been making headlines for all the wrong reasons. Users have reported widespread stability problems with systems experiencing frequent crashes, freezes, and a significant drop in performance. What's most concerning is that these issues affect even high-end i9 models, particularly those rated above 65 watts. Imagine spending top dollar on a flagship processor only to have it become unstable and unreliable within a short period. This isn't just an inconvenience, it's a serious problem that raises questions about the longevity and reliability of Intel's latest offerings. So what's causing all this trouble for Intel? It's a question that has puzzled many experts and enthusiasts alike. The root of the problem lies in a phenomenon called Vimin Shift Instability, a term that might sound complex but is crucial to understand. In simple terms, it's a fancy way of saying that the CPU is being fed too much voltage, leading to degradation over time. This overvoltage issue is not just a minor inconvenience, it can have significant long-term effects. Think of it like overwatering a plant. A little water is good but too much can drown the roots and damage the plant. Similarly, the CPU needs just the right amount of voltage to function optimally. Similarly, excessive voltage can damage the delicate transistors within the CPU, causing them to wear out faster. These transistors are the building blocks of the CPU, and their integrity is vital for performance. But why is this happening? It's a question that leads us deeper into the technical intricacies of CPU design. The culprit seems to be a microcode algorithm error within the affected Intel CPUs. This error is not just a simple bug, it has far-reaching implications. This error causes the CPU to request higher voltages than necessary, even when running at lower loads. This means that even during less demanding tasks, the CPU is under undue stress. This constant overvoltage puts unnecessary stress on the CPU, accelerating the degradation process. Over time, this can lead to significant performance issues and even hardware failure. Section 4, Intel's Response, Too Little, Too Late To their credit, Intel acknowledged the issue and released a series of microcode updates aimed at mitigating the problem. These updates were designed to address the root cause of the vmin shift instability, a critical flaw that had been causing significant issues for users. These updates delivered through motherboard BIOS updates were supposed to prevent the CPU from requesting excessive voltages and correct the algorithm error causing the vmin shift instability. The goal was to stabilize the performance of the affected CPUs and ensure they operated within safe parameters. They even went as far as extending the warranty on affected CPUs by two years. 
This move was intended to reassure customers and provide them with peace of mind, knowing that Intel stood behind their products. This means that if your Intel 13th or 14th Gen CPU suffers from degradation due to this issue, you're covered for a longer period. The extended warranty is a significant gesture showing Intel's commitment to addressing the problem. Major PC manufacturers including Dell, Alienware and MSI have also pledged their support, offering extended warranties on systems equipped with these CPUs. However, there's a catch. While these companies are backing Intel's efforts, the effectiveness of these measures is still under scrutiny. While these software fixes can prevent further degradation in unaffected or mildly affected CPUs, they cannot reverse the damage that's already been done. Users with severely affected CPUs may find that the updates offer little to no improvement. If your CPU has already suffered significant degradation, a microcode update won't magically restore it to its former glory. The damage is unfortunately irreversible, and users may need to consider other options such as replacing the affected CPU entirely. Section 5. The Limitations of Software Patches Think of it like trying to patch a leaky bucket. You can keep adding patches, but the bucket will never be as good as new. Similarly, while Intel's microcode updates can prevent further voltage spikes, they can't repair the damage already inflicted upon the CPU's transistors. This limitation has left many users feeling frustrated and let down. They invested in Intel's latest and greatest, only to be met with instability and a ticking time bomb of degradation. The lack of a concrete solution, apart from replacing the affected CPU, has understandably eroded consumer trust in Intel's products. Section 6. Why AMD is the obvious choice. So, where does this leave consumers? If you're in the market for a new CPU, it's hard to recommend Intel's 13th and 14th gen offerings, especially with the lingering uncertainty surrounding their long-term reliability. This is where AMD comes in. AMD, Intel's main competitor in the CPU market, has been quietly gaining ground, and for good reason. Their Ryzen processors have earned a reputation for their solid performance, competitive pricing, and most importantly, their reliability. AMD's Ryzen CPUs have not been plagued by similar widespread reports of instability or degradation. They offer a compelling alternative for users who prioritize reliability and peace of mind. Section 7. The Future of CPU Reliability Intel's handling of this CPU degradation issue has undoubtedly left a mark on their reputation. It serves as a stark reminder that even tech giants can stumble, and that prioritizing reliability and transparency should be paramount. As for AMD, their consistent performance and reliability have positioned them as a strong contender in the CPU market. This situation highlights the importance of competition in the tech industry, driving innovation and ultimately benefiting consumers. So, what's the takeaway? Do your research, choose wisely, and always remember, reliability matters.